These pictures from viewer Ivan Levy give us a better idea of the magnitude and mess caused by this crash. He says he stopped right behind the pileup, grabbed his medical kit, and jumped in to help as fast as he could. Levy said it was like Armageddon. Now, dozens of people are hurt after this crash, but investigators say there are no reported fatalities, although some victims are in critical condition. 13 News Now reporter Allison Basil is live in Newport News at Riverside Regional, where some of those involved are recovering tonight. Allison. Madeline, Virginia State Police tell us it took just 10 minutes to get troopers and other agencies to the scene of the crash this morning, and together they worked to bring 51 people to local hospitals. It was all hands on deck at Riverside Hospitals Sunday morning. We did call staff in. It is a Sunday morning. Uh, don't want to say typically it's a slow time in an emergency room, but it, it's, it's not one of our busier times. Together, both Riverside locations in Newport News and Williamsburg treating 45 crash patients, admitting three. Centera Healthcare saw two with minor injuries, and Virginia State Police say a few patients went to VCU. Of those that were transported and or being treated, two are listed in critical condition and 11 are serious but non-life-threatening. Other patients with minor injuries like Daryl Butler are counting their blessings. I even watched a Ford F-150 flip up in the air and it was kind of like crazy, but I'm just thankful that no one was severely hurt and that's just the work of God. And I'll share more of Butler's story coming up tonight at 11. In Newport News, Allison Basil, 13 News Now.